Welcome back, guys, to Expeditions Conquistador. I've uh, sort of been neglecting this game in favor of The Last of Us, which I finished by now, and Civilization V, which is also finished. Um, so we're just going to play this again, you know? I want to sort of see more of this game. Uh, we were told, I believe, to go to... Let's Santiago, to the uh, Samana Peninsula. And check that out. Event log. Uh, let's take a look at the quest that we're doing right now. Uh, discovered Cairns, Esteban, blah, 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 visit the mines, Santo Domingo, Northwest, so I should be over there, that's not the quest I'm looking for, um, investigate the Northeastern Peninsula, so we're gonna do that, let's get these herbs, so we can make some medicine out of that, and, uh, let's just keep following this, uh, this thing that we're following. I think we're just uh, supposed to follow the beach and stuff. Patrol difficulty is very high. So, let's take someone off of guard duty. How about you? You go, uh, patrolling. There you go. And you're not doing anything, so you can go preserve my meat. I guess. Um. Preserve. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's go. Your guards failed to prevent some of your wood from going missing in the night. So what, it just ran off? The wood just ran off, really? Okay. It is what it is. My wood is missing now. Super awesome. Thanks for that. How are we gonna... Oh, we can go over, over there. Oh, I think that's it. Camp again. Stay, we'll keep the same. We lost one rope. Some thieves showed up on the beach for some reason. Hunting party found some good stuff. Your patrol found a packet of rations. An Aztec soldier must have dropped. Good. But we're going to need some extra supplies very soon. When you arrive at the place that Leandro pointed out to you, you send out your troops in groups of three to scout the area for signs of the rebels. One after one, the groups return with nothing to report. You make one last sweep of the area, but you already know it's going to come up empty. This land is pristine, long untouched by humans. Perhaps Leandro was mistaken. Huh. What? What about that? Treasure. Let's go check out the treasure. Also that cairn. Yeah! I think we got three out of four now, so that's good. Let's, uh, let's see what's, what's happening over here. I see some treasure. I wanna get it. You're pretty sure you're marching into a dead end, and you leave the mountains in the direction of the shore. But at least it will be a scenic and pleasant dead end. The weather is great, and the beach is looking beautiful. Perhaps the troops would benefit from a little rest and recreation. Okay. Then the advance party stops the caravan. The scouts have spotted somebody moving on the beach ahead. A small group of what appears to be Spanish fishermen digging in the sand. You pick a handful of people and ride down towards the man. They're clustered around a pit in the beach where you can barely make out the top of a large wooden chest. Buenos dias, what are you digging for? The five men jump to their feet and the two who were digging drop the shovels. They clearly are uh, fishermen but they're surprisingly well armed for civilians. They all carry arquebuses and swords. Perhaps they are former armor, army soldiers. The oldest of the fishermen steps forward. This does not concern you, Conquistador. Uh, perhaps I can offer my help. You better address me with some respect, mi senor. Now answer the question. The man bows a little too deeply and a mocking trill colors his voice. Of course, your grace. I beg your forgiveness. However, this does not concern you. Daniel Reyes clears his throat. That chest resembles the type of chest used by the royal treasurer. It may have been stolen off of a supply ship to Santo Domingo. One Ortega chimes in with a suggestion. We should confiscate the chest and kill these bandidos. Adriana Cervera cuts in, indignant. Think, one, you would condemn these fishermen to death on suspicion of theft? Ortega barks back, annoyed. It's obvious what's going on here. And remember, Adriana, they stole them from King Carlos. Settle down, all of you. Uh, let's see. They're seeming, uh, the exchanges happen out of the earshot of the fishermen, but they're seeming more irate every passing second. We can leave them alone, but that's gonna piss off a bunch of people. Um, so basically the, the, the priest guy says it might have been stolen, while Ortega says we should confiscate the chest and kill him, and then she says we don't have to kill him. So we're gonna use tactics medium, surround them and seize the chest. Oh man. The troops spread out, raised their occubuses, and carefully advanced upon the fishermen. Unsurprisingly, the fishermen immediately raised their weapons and attack. Begin battle. 
So much for that. Let's pick a hunter, a soldier, I want the doctor with me, obviously. I'm also gonna bring a scout, because the loading screen just said that they are very good at combat for some reason. So we're picking them, and then we're picking another, um, soldier. Uh, let's go with Martinez, and then I want to bring Cervera as well. Let's just do that. Equipment, we are out of equipment, so there's that. Uh, we can, however, upgrade someone to the next level, so... Let's see, we have a hunter who's already the first or the second rank, actually. Oh, uh, everybody's a recruit, basically, at the beginning. Um, he's already there. And I've got a soldier who is also the, the, the first rank, man at arms. Um, let's upgrade a scout, I think. Aragones. You're getting an upgrade, buddy. There you go. Okay, and endurance is less. The follower deals 10% more damage against an enemy who is incapacitated. Nope. That doesn't sound super useful. Defense bonus. Uh, follower, okay, avoid damage over time from poison, dodge, evade, fencer. Enemy's damage bonus when flanking this follower is reduced from 15 to 5. The follower's critical hit chance is increased by half, which is... Eh, you know, that's not amazing. Uh, let's go with keen eye. They ignore armor. I actually kind of like that. The first time we're getting more extraction, that it doesn't sound too great. Weapon pull arm. What weapon does he have right now? Cutlass, and that's it. He doesn't have a ranged weapon. Are you kidding me? What? Uh, dagger, spear, sword, bow. He needs to be a recruit ranged. Ranged. What does that mean? Gain sneak. Um, I'm just gonna give him suck it up. He's not slow down by walking over Keltrops. Let's not pick that one. That doesn't sound great. I'm gonna go with um shit, where is it? Good. Oh, let's give him critical hit. Sure, why not? And then we're making him extra good in patrolling and a little bit of guarding. And uh, we can also oh we can do another one. So let's see, we're bringing Martinez. Let's give her an upgrade. Give her one that gives her extra defense against ranged or... Or what was the other one? Block. Let's go with block. There we go. Make her extra good at guarding, a little bit of patrolling. And we're done here. Uh, to battle. Let's do this. Contextual events such as fishing are a great way to gain extra resources when you make camp. I'll keep that in mind. I don't think I've actually fished yet, but it's basically the same as killing a boar, I assume. Preparation phase. Okay, let's see. We got six people and they have five. Hunter, scout, soldier, soldier. Let's see, I want uh, my own soldiers. Man at arms, hunter. Man at arms, soldier. There. Soldier, there. I want the doctor to be really protected, and I guess this looks fine. Uh, we cannot make any barricades, assumingly, because I do not have the, um, the, the stuff that you need for that, so I'm just gonna start here. My turn. I get to begin this game. Yeah, let's start by killing this hunter. Boom! That's good damage. We got Martinez, who's got a pull arm. Oh, that's good. Um, sure, let's switch to the Hunter. 78, I'll actually take that. Blocked it. Good for him, I guess. Switch to you. Let's uh, start focusing on killing the Hunter. Oh shit, this is, okay. I did not realize I was using a Hunter. It's just when I click somebody, I assume I'm gonna be them, but you have to do it at the exact right time. It's kind of sucky there. Yup. Uh, go over there. Kill him. Come on. How hard can it be? You shoot at him? Oh, I already did that. I forgot. Switch to the Arcubus and fire. You never know. Oh, shit. Okay, that's nice. And that's gonna end it. As long as we kill the Huntsman first. Whoa. That was sweet. Oh man, free attack. Oh, you just, okay. I thought it was gonna walk past me. No worries, men. And women also. 
Holy shit, that guy just almost murdered that guy instantly. Let's have you kill him. There we go, Huntsman dead. Great success. Scout. Let's focus on killing... Wait. Oh, this guy's the most dangerous. Veteran soldier. Yeah, that guy's the highest level. <coughs> Go over there. Walk away from here. Oh, sh I sh probably shouldn't have done that, but... I really want to kill this soldier first. That guy is really dangerous. Uh, okay. You fire at the, at the hunter. Good. Hopefully they can finish it. No, they can't finish it. That's too bad. But there you go. Switch to the doctor, and then there we go, and go over there and stab the shit out of him. Hopefully we can kill him. Yeah, nice. Second guy's dead. And we'll end our turn. And we got, uh, They got three left. This guy's probably gonna kill one of mine. Oh, what? Did we just kill him? That was easy? What the heck? Oh man, this guy's going down. Scout, don't do it. Um, let's start with you. Fire. There you go. Oh, this guy's almost dead. Let's have the soldier finish him. There we go. Then the hunter can walk around back. Here we go. And fire at this guy. Look at that chest. This is what we're killing all these people for. And then the doctor can... Well, that will work. Yeah, the doctor can get over there, heal this guy, make sure he stays alive a little bit longer. That would be preferable. There you go, and you stab him a little bit. That'd be great. And you walk over there. No, god damn it! I clicked the soldier. Oh shit. That is really unfortunate. Now he's gonna kill my scout. Can he get away? He can totally get away, look at that. Get away as far, as far as you can, and then you will block him. And you will stand over there. Let's see if he can get to him, I hope not. <clears throat> Sweet, and now my guy survives, that's what I want to see. Cervera, you were the one that didn't want to kill these guys, so you get the honor of killing the last one. There you go. And everybody survived, slow clap. No injuries! Nailed it! Flawless victory. The fishermen definitely have military training, but you dispatch them nevertheless. Your people search their bodies and take a few of their arquebuses that can be picked apart for spare parts. Then it's time to look at the main prize, the half-buried chest. Open the chest. You order two of your people to drag the chest out of the- Whoa, what? Out of the pit and get it open. Somebody finds the key one of the dead fishermen. Much to everybody's satisfaction, the lake creaks open to reveal that the chest is full of silver coins. It would appear that your suspicions were correct. These fishermen were bandits that had robbed this Spanish supply ship. Take the valuables. Holy shit, that's a lot. Your people bring the chest back to the caravan where your servants are put to counting the coins. After counting a second time to be sure, it comes out 3,600 valuables. Good. That's free money right there. I'll take it. Gladly. Nailed it. That was a nice quest. I like it. And we got some good training out of that as well. I want to see... Um, 140 experience, so we can actually get an upgrade for someone else, or we can uh, sort of save it up and give the veteran um, upgrade to someone. I'm not entirely sure what the best uh, the best way to do this would be. Five equipment. We also stole two pieces of equipment, so we could give those to somebody. Scout. Um, we have two pieces of equipment, so even if I give him a few like cutlass things, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Oh, it make, okay, so it gives him a little bit extra extra damage when using his cutlass. That's what it does. Um, oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm liking this so far. So at any point in time, you can basically remove equipment from someone and give it to another person. Um, yeah, let's give it to the doctor since we actually always use the doctor. And, uh, we should give her an upgrade. What the hell am I doing? Block, bloodthirsty, constitution, dodge, evade. Probably something defensive or healing related. 
Uh, ignore up to seven points of armor. Opportunist. No, I don't like too many of those. I'm... F oh, wait a second. Weapon bow. Gain cure. Removes all damage over time effects and negative effects from an ally unit and heals 15 to 25 points of endurance. It's quite good. I kind of want to give her a bow or a sword, seeing as she uses pretty sucky weapons. You know, that would be nice to have. Uh, but as I'm, since I'm going to be using her mostly from a distance, I think I'll get a bow. Seeing as she is a recruit and ranged. And she's not a native, so she can't use a blowgun. So let's give her a bow. That sounds like a perfectly fine plan. And then make her really good at herbalism and uh, tinkering hunting. There you go. Kind of wish I, should, I could give her some more equipment. Let's switch that to the bow. There we go. Good enough for me. And now she can do Dagger Occupus Bow. It's good. Good. Let's make camp for the night. Um, let's see, tinkering. We're still working on inventing something. A cart. That's good. Faster carts. I like that. One extra movement. It's not going to be a very big deal, but it's going to be nice to be able to do that, I think. Unused meat. Sweet. We just gave meat to everybody, I think. So everybody will eat a delicious piece of meat that we have. And you, my lady. You are... We don't have herbs, so it's going to be hunting for you. Hunting for you. Hunting for you. And I think that about sums it up, because we de desperately need food right now. Camp. Okay, we lost two rations. Wild animals ate those. Your patrols found the length of native-made rope. So we found seven rope. And also our hunting party found ten meat, which is great, because that's, you know, that's food. We'll keep people alive. Now let's go back to Santiago. Because we need to talk to that lady again. I forget her name. What was it, like, Le Leandra? Leandra? Something like that. Luisa? No, that's not it. Oh, it's Leandra. Okay. Good. I knew that. The beach. Uh, yep, we can keep it the same. Your expedition consumes one rations and ten meat. Your camp defenses hold up. Your patrol encountered a pair of tribal scouts and confiscated their weapons. That's one equipment. Hunting party found ten more meat, which is what we ate during the night, so that's actually pretty great. Now, if I have to make camp before I get there again, I'm actually going to try and preserve most of that meat. Turn it into rations. And then again, it doesn't really matter, does it? Tinkering. We can actually make barricades if we want to do that, but we don't have a lot of wood. And it would actually use up a lot of it. Tasks. Let's just camp again. In the evening, Raul Carrillo comes to you and solemnly asks for a word in private. You can tell that he's a little nervous about what he wishes to talk to you about. Take him aside and listen. Follows you out of earshot of the rest of the troops and clears his throat. Capitan Garcia, I have an important request to make of you. It's going to seem unreasonable, but I feel that I must ask or it will eat away at me for the rest of your of our journey together. Um, As a man at arms in my company, you can always speak freely. I know, that's one of the reasons why I admire you. You run a tight ship, but I've always felt that you respect and value us. Okay. Well, in the tavern back in Santiago, I talked to a scout who recently returned from a posting in a region called Boaruco, on the western side of the island. She said she came into possession of an old stone slab with symbols that describe an ancient temple full of sacrificial gifts to pagan gods. <clears throat> okay. She said she found a Taino, el Taino elder who was able to translate the symbols, and now she's putting together a group to go back to Boaruco and find the temple. Oh no, she wants to claim the treasure... And she asked if I would be willing to join our expedition. We will be a dozen troops, and if I will get e and I will get an even cut of whatever treasure we find. The gleam in his eyes tell you that denying Raoul this exciting opportunity would have dire consequences for his morale. On the other hand, 14 days is a lot of time to be missing a hunter. How could I deny you such an opportunity? I know I've let you all down until now. None of us came here to make war on slaves and Spanish soldiers, blah blah blah. You know what, I'm going to tell him to do it because it's only 14 days and it's going to make him feel better and hopefully he'll give me a cut, so, uh, go! How could I deny you that? A beaming smile splits Raul's face nearly in half and he takes her hand and shakes it em empathically. Thanks, you, 
Thank you, Capitan. You don't know how much this means to me. I will, re I will represent our company well on this expedition. Thank you. Raul then runs off to his tent to pack his things. I love this so far. I like that your like group members have their own unique. What the fuck is this guy doing here? The accident. A scream forces its way through the humid air from the right flank of your formation. You halt everyone and qu quickly identify the source of the commotion. Federico Quintero is lying on a in a car clutching his stomach, evidently in great pain. What happened here? After asking the people uh, around him what transpired, it's clear it's <coughs> some sort of venomous spider had hidden himself away in Federico's sack and bit him when he opened it. It's unclear whether the spider has escaped or was released, but the scout is clearly out of commission for the time being. Shit. Okay, so the doctor's gonna take care of him. That's what's gonna happen. Um, anyway, I'm gonna end it here because the game just saved and I've been going really long and it's a lot of reading. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this part and I'll be back soon with more Expeditions Conquistador and we're gonna return to Santiago. It's gonna be super cool. I promise.